Wagwan viewers and subs, welcome to class. Thank you for tuning in. In today's video, we have a lot of work going on here and I'm gonna show you one simple trick that can save you time, money, runs, redos, and headache. Quite a lot for one simple trick, right? We're gonna dive right into it. All right guys, so this is what we'll be doing with Brian from Paint Society. We're gonna be laying down some clear coat and show you that one simple trick that's gonna save you so much time and effort in the end. So if you haven't checked out Brian's channel yet, you need to go and check that out ASAP. And thanks for having me on Mario's Paint Class. Now I'm gonna show you this simple little trick that is really gonna help you out. And if you don't know it, well, it can get you into trouble and you won't believe how easy it is. All right, guys, this technique is on your clear coat, the first and last coat. This is one of the most important important coats you know this is the coat that's really going to show just how much work you put into it you know from the prepping to the cleaning to the masking laying down your base coat this coat show everything so if there's any imperfection you're going to see it right away with the clear coat so what we want to make sure guys is that you don't get yourself into a jam when doing these things right you want to make sure that no first of all right when blending a panel do you need clear coat on the edge of the panel you really don't because there is already clear it's clear on clear right so there is already a uv protection so notice how brian is spraying but he's not making a full coat towards the edge of the panel is keeping it away from that edge and he's gonna talk to you a little bit more on that technique now notice guys how he didn't even go down onto the dog leg there he's keeping it away from the edge of the quarter panel the same rule applies throughout the whole thing blending is probably the hardest part of painting because you creating an illusion for everyone to see that the color is exactly the same and what can happen with your clear coat it can change the color all right guys so we just laid down the first coat of clear now let me show you what i was talking about earlier right notice at the edge where the clear stops it's fairly dry right compared to the rest of the panel now the reason for this is you don't want to bring your clear all the way because what happens if you get a run over here and you cannot get rid of that run and then you have to paint the whole edge over here that means you're going into the rear door which is now you're wasting time and spending more money yeah mario so you're going to see this on lighter colors because it's what we call the swimming pool effect so usually on blacks or dark colors you won't notice it as much but we're talking about color here so if we put two coats at the edge here so our first coat came to the edge and then our second coat came up to the edge what will happen is we'll get that swimming pool effect and what that is is if you see a swimming pool from an airplane and you look at a deeper section it's darker why is it darker because there's more water it's more dense and that's exactly what can happen here so even though it's clear it is making the panel a little bit darker so we're only going to have one real coat of clear over this edge and it still has a UV protection from the original clear so we did that here and we did that over here where that would uh, line up to the other door you can see there's actually no clear here and right at this edge here at the quarter panel it's obviously stopped right in and around here we followed the same thing on the front fender at the front fender it might be hard to see but there's actually no clear coat here yet we stopped it in and around right in this area as well as the quarter panel in the back now it's been about 10 or 15 minutes we're ready to put the second coat on and when we do the second coat we're going to take our clear and we're never going to stop right at the edge we're actually going to take the clear and extend it about four or five inches past the edge that way we don't get a build up on the edge
Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something today, guys. And please consider subscribing to the channel. Subscribe to Paint Society's channel. And there's two other channels I want you to check out. That's Scorpion Paint and then that's the Candyman. So until next time, guys, class dismissed.